Hello again, it's uh, Joey Jamaqua. I'm in one of my favourite pubs, the Plough and Harrow, in Hammersmith, uh, Weatherspoons pub. And I'm going to uh, recite to you my latest poem, which I wrote in the early hours of this morning, which I always do, and it's called This Cubby Hole. At first sight, you may think it is small. Write it off as an insignificant cubby hole. And to be fair to you, it is small, though far from insignificant. For it is, in essence, my sanctuary, my cocoon, which is my safety, my all-in-one nest that I alone have feathered to my own specific liking. It is not for uninvited muddy boots. Its unique ambience in all its fragility gives a welcome only to those privileged to be the special chosen few. Hence the locks and bolts and a peeping hole so that I can see the outside, but the outside can't see me. It is my auditorium, my gallery, with my world and me hanging permanently on display where part of me occupies every available crevice, a chilling photograph with me captured. I do share by arrangement, for one corner of my living room ceiling houses the gateway to my God, personal, private, and reception to my council. True, I only rent. It is not mine for keeps. We all go empty-handed into the abyss of the unknown. The walls will be stripped, leaving but an empty shell, my life mere dust left gathering. Hardly a museum or a fitting epitaph, but mine to use whilst here. It is my castle, therefore my fortress, the drawbridge mine to raise and lower at will. It is small, but also my TARDIS, where time travels with me. It is a shared harmony that seeks not to be disturbed. It is a comfy cushion and welcome bolt hole. It is an oyster-like cocoon, but much more than that, much more, it is my humble home.